Hi everyone. In this video, let us discuss about the chlorodigipoxide. What is chlorodigipoxide? This drug is a benzodiazepine which is used to decrease the anxiety as well as increase the sedation. And this drug can control the agitation in the patients. That's why it is also called as minor tranquilizer. And this is the first drug in this benzodiazepines, which is having a small difference in its structure compared with the other benzodiazepines. Now let us see the structure of this drug and how this drug acts and what are the side effects, drug interactions and contraindications of this drug. So what is the structure of this chlorodigipoxide? It is having the benzodiazepine ring system here you can observe, but we can see the two important structural changes compared with the other benzodiazepines. Here you can observe at the second position, it is having a methyl amino group. Normally benzodiazepines are having a ketone group at the second position, but this chlorodigipoxide is having a methyl amino group at the second position. Similarly, many of the benzodiazepines are having the two nitrogens at first and fourth position. So they are 1,4 benzodiazepines. And chlorodigipoxide is also 1,4 benzodiazepine, but it is having an extra oxide at the fourth position. So chlorodigipoxide is a 1,4 benzodiazepine 4 oxide. First of all, let us give the numbering to this chlorodigipoxide. We can start the numbering from this nitrogen. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So here we can observe second portion methyl amino group is present and fourth portion oxide is present. These are the two structural differences of this chlorodigipoxide compared with the other benzodiazepines. Now let us write the name of this compound. So here we can observe the side chains, seventh portion chloro, so seven chloro and two methyl amino and fifth portion phenyl group is there, so five phenyl. Then saturation is present at the third portion, so three H. Then it is a one four benzodiazepine but it is having an oxide at the fourth position, so 4 oxide. So that is the name of this chlorodigipoxide. 7 chloro, 2 methyl amino, 5 phenyl, 3 H, 1 4 benzodiazepine, 4 oxide. Now let us see how this drug acts as anxiolytic as well as sedative. But before that, let us see how this drug is going to be metabolized within the body. Because already we have seen that it is having a methyl amino group at the second position, where normally a ketone group is present in many of the benzodiazepines. So let us see what happens in the metabolism at the second position. Now chlorodigipoxide is mainly metabolized by oxidative deamination. So here the methyl amino group is there which can be removed by oxidative deamination where the amine group is going to be removed along with the incorporation of an oxygen at the carbon. So this chlorodigipoxide is going to be converted to one of the metabolite, demoxypalm. Now the demoxypalm is having a ketone group at the second position which increase the activity. But this metabolite is not stable, it can further undergo the metabolism to produce other types of metabolites. So now let us see the second step in this metabolism. So this demoxypalm can be converted into another metabolite, nordigipalm. This nordigipalm is a common metabolite of many of the benzodiazepines like the digipalm. So here simply the anoxide group is going to be removed to produce the nordigipalm. Now this nordigipalm is again active metabolite of the benzodiazepines and it is having the very longer half-life compared with the parent benzodiazepines. That's why chlorodigipoxide is a long-acting benzodiazepine. So chlorodigipoxide is going to be converted into two important active metabolites, demoxypalm and nordigipalm, which are the active metabolites and among these nordigipalm is long-acting, resulting in the long duration of action of chlorodigipoxide. So here we can conclude one point that all the benzodiazepines which are converted into nordigipalm are having long duration of action. Nordigipalm can also be converted into oxygipalm because nordigipalm is not hydrophilic. We can increase the hydrophilicity by introduction of the OH group at the third position. So 3-hydroxylation is one of the important metabolic pathway for many of the benzodiazepines. So nordigipalm can be converted to oxygipalm which is also an active metabolite. But this oxygipalm is a short acting benzodiazepine which can undergo the conjugation by glucuronidation, thereby it is going to be excreted in the urine. In this way, the action of chlorodigipoxide is mainly related with the parent drug as well as the two active metabolites, demoxypalm and nordigipalm. Now let us see how this drug acts. Chlorodigipoxide mainly acts on the GABA A receptors. These GABA A receptors are present at the different uh, centers within the CNS. Now here the chlorodigipoxide can bind to these GABA A receptors. Otherwise. It can be current to few of the metabolites like the demoxypalm or nordigipalm. So any of these can bind to this benzodiazepine binding site. So chlorodigipoxide can bind, otherwise the demoxypalm or nordigipalm can bind to this benzodiazepine binding site. 
which facilitates the action of the GABA on the GABA receptors, thereby it opens the chloride channels. So when the chlorine is going to enter into the membrane, it produces the hyperpolarization. So this hyperpolarization can prevent the depolarization and excitation of the postsynaptic membrane. And since it produces an inhibitory response, chloride epoxide and its metabolites can produce the decrease in the anxiety and increase in the sleep as well as sedation in the patients. In this way, chloride epoxide can produce the anxiolytic activity as well as it can produce the sedative and hypnotic activity. What are the side effects? The main side effects are related to the central uh, actions. It can produce a drowsiness, ataxia, loss of balance and sedation, confusion can be observed with the chloride epoxide. All these are because of the central effects of the chloride epoxide which are common with many of the benzodiazepines. And apart from these side effects, this drug can also produce the edema, nausea, some menstrual irregularities as well as it can also produce some skin rashes, loss of libido and few of the patients can also increase the extra pyramidal side effects. Apart from these central side effects, we can also observe few of the rare side effects observed in the long term treatment of chloride epoxide but they should be carefully monitored because they are very harmful. Among them one of the important side effects is the agranulocytosis. Chloride epoxide can produce the blood dyscrasias leading to disturbance in the blood counts. So it can produce a granulocytosis as well as it can produce a jaundice and hepatic impairment can be observed with the chloride epoxide. These side effects are rare side effects but they are severe. So when they are going to be observed in the patients, the drug should be immediately stopped. What are the precautions? First precaution is the avoiding of the chloride epoxide along with the CNS represents because this drug produces a sedation and CNS represents can also produce a sedation. So when these drugs are combinedly used, they can produce a severe sedation and coma in the patients. For example, this chloride epoxide should be carefully given with the alcohol because alcohol produces a sedation as well as CNS depression. Second precaution is the careful administration in the elders at low dose. Again in the elders, there is a chance of uh, sedation and ataxia, loss of balance. So in the elder patients, this drug should be used at a low dose in order to prevent the sudden falling attacks and uh, sedation in the patients. During the pregnancy, again we have to take the precaution because this drug can produce few of the fetal abnormalities in the first trimester of the pregnancy. So this drug should be avoided during the pregnancy as well as the women who are liable to pregnant in few of the months because of the risk of fetal abnormalities. Drug interactions. Benzodiazepines like the chlorodize epoxide can produce a sedation and we have another category of drugs like the opioids which are used as analgesics. These opioids can also produce a sedation. So when the benzodiazepines and opioids are given, they can produce the severe sedation. Similarly, opioids can produce the respiratory depression which is further increased by the benzodiazepines. In this way, benzodiazepines like the chloride epoxide and opioids are having significant drug interaction. So when these two categories of drugs are given, they can produce a severe sedation and respiratory depression, which may lead to the coma and death of the patient. How it is given? Chloride epoxide is available as a capsule form at different doses, 5 mg, 10 mg and 25 mg. And the dose of the chloride epoxide is initiated at 5 to 10 mg, TID or QID. That means three times daily or four times daily. But in the geriatric patients, the dose should be somewhat reduced in order to decrease the sedation and ataxia. And again, the dose can be increased according to the degree of anxiety in the patients. If it's a mild anxiety disorder, we can use at a low dose. If it is a severe anxiety disorder, we can increase the dose up to the 25 mg. So that's about the chlorodize epoxide. Chlorodize epoxide is one of the benzodiazepine which is having a methyl amino group at the second position. Normally many of the benzodiazepines are having a ketone group at the second position. But this drug is having a methyl amino group at the second position. Similarly it is having an oxide group at the fourth position which is not present in the other benzodiazepines. And this drug is going to be metabolized by oxidative deamination to produce one of the active metabolite demoxy pump which is immediately metabolized to produce the ender metabolite nordzy pump. This demoxy pump and nordzy pump are active metabolites but among these nordizipam is a long acting metabolite leading to the long duration of action of chlorodize epoxide and nordizipam can be further metabolized to give the oxypam which is a short acting benzodiazepine. This chlorodize epoxide and their metabolites can act on the GABA receptors by binding to the benzodiazepine binding site where they are going to facilitate the action of the GABA on the GABA receptors thereby they open the chloride channels resulting in the hyperpolarization which results in the decreased anxiety as well as increase the sedation and sleep in the patients. 
Again, the side effects of this chlorodice epoxide are related to the central effects like the sedation, confusion, dizziness and drowsiness in the patients. But few of the side effects like the jaundice, a granulocytosis and hepatic impairment are very rare side effects observed with the chlorodice epoxide when it is used for a longer period. And this drug should be carefully given with the other CNS depressants like the alcohol and it should be administered at a low dose in the geriatric patients and it, and it should be avoided in the pregnancy. When it is given with the opioids, it can produce a severe sedation, respiratory depression and it may also lead to the coma and death of the patient. So it should be avoided with the opioids. So that's about this chlorodice epoxide. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends. Post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.